I thought I should give you warning we're taking the ship. It's nothing personal. Parro, ven aquí o te arranco la cabeza! You might be better off, you just... Yeah! Stay out of it. Guess what? The producer of Pirates of the Caribbean spilled the beans, saying, we're going to reboot. That means they're revamping the whole thing, and it's going to be a breeze because they don't have to wait around for specific actors. And make sure to stick around till the end, as we'll discuss how the reboot might bring in some fresh franchise vibes we haven't seen in over two decades. Jerry Bruckheimer, the producer behind the mega-popular Pirates of the Caribbean series, spilled some exciting news to ComicBook.com recently. He mentioned that they're planning to give the franchise a fresh start, or as he put it, they're going to reboot it. With over $4.5 billion in box office earnings across five movies, you can imagine the excitement. When asked about the future of his hit franchises, including the Tom Cruise-led Top Gun series, Bruckheimer admitted it's hard to predict. My name is Captain Barbosa, and I stand before you with cordial intent. <laughs> cordial intent. He emphasized the uncertainty in how things come together in the film industry. Unlike Top Gun, where they rely on an iconic actor like Tom Cruise, the reboot of Pirates of the Caribbean is a bit easier because they don't have to wait for specific actors to sign on. Bruckheimer's statement suggests that the next Pirates of the Caribbean installment might feature an all-new cast, hinting that Johnny Depp might not reprise his role as Captain Jack Sparrow. Depp has been the face of all five previous Pirates movies. According to Variety's report in summer 2020, Disney was in the early stages of developing two Pirates projects, a reboot starring Margot Robbie and a sixth film continuing the original franchise, with a script written by Craig Mazin and Ted Elliott, who co-wrote the first four movies. Mazin shared with the Los Angeles Times last year that the script for Pirates of the Caribbean 6 is so bizarre that he was surprised Disney gave it the green light. He said, we pitched it and thought there was no way they're buying it. It's too weird. And they did. And then we wrote a fantastic script and the strike happened and everyone's waiting around. The most recent Pirates of the Caribbean movie, Dead Men Tell No Tales, hit screens back in 2017. Margot Robbie revealed to Vanity Fair in November 2022 that her own Pirates project, with a script by Christina Hodson of Birds of Prey fame, had been shelved. She mentioned they had an idea for a different kind of story, one with a stronger female presence, but it seems like Disney wasn't on board with that direction. Jerry Bruckheimer later clarified that Robbie's script hasn't been entirely scrapped, it's just on hold for now. He explained that Disney is currently focusing on the script by Ted Elliott and Craig Mazin, as for the plot of the new Pirates film, it's still a mystery. Whether Johnny Depp's Jack Sparrow makes a comeback is anyone's guess, especially given Hollywood's recent distancing from Depp due to legal issues and his legal battle against Amber Heard in 2022. In May 2022, when asked about Johnny Depp's return to the Pirates franchise, the producer expressed uncertainty to the Sunday Times. He said, will Johnny Depp be back? Not at this point, the future is yet to be decided. Now, regardless of what lies ahead for the Pirate saga, Bruckheimer confirms it'll be a reboot, setting sail first. Each of the previous five Pirates films made a splash at the box office, with both Dead Man's Chest in 2006 and On Stranger Tides in 2011 crossing the impressive $1 billion mark worldwide. Now, let's talk about how Pirates of the Caribbean 6 is set to reboot the series, and by going back to its roots, it could restore a long-lost aspect of the franchise, bringing back an element of the franchise that fans haven't seen in over two decades. The recent announcement confirms that the next installment will indeed be a reboot, with the project currently in its early stages of development. This move feels like the right call, as it has the potential to take the Pirates of the Caribbean series back to its roots in a significant way. The original series, spanning five films released from 2004 to 2017, starred Johnny Depp as the iconic Captain Jack Sparrow and enjoyed immense financial success. However, as the series progressed, it introduced more characters and complex plots, leading to a decline in critical reception. With a reboot on the horizon, there's hope for a return to the charm and excitement of the first film, offering fans a fresh perspective and potentially revitalizing the franchise. As the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise progressed through its first five movies, the vastness of the ocean setting seemed to shrink. 
While these films capture the adventurous spirit of classic swashbuckler movies with a touch of fantasy and double O's humor, they gradually lost the sense of epic scale that was so prominent in the initial installment, The Curse of the Black Pearl, released in 2004. Despite their colorful characters and iconic pirate imagery, the later entries failed to evoke the same feeling of grandeur that characterized the series' debut. Instead, they made the ocean setting feel surprisingly confined, diminishing the sense of awe and adventure that once defined the Pirates of the Caribbean experience. In the end, the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise's fixation on Captain Jack Sparrow ended up causing harm. While Jack Sparrow was undeniably the central character, the series reached a point where it felt like there were too many characters from his past being shoehorned in, leading to a sense of absurdity. Almost every main villain in the franchise turned out to be an old adversary of Jack's, whether it was Barbosa, Davy Jones, Blackbeard, or Salazar. This recurring theme not only became tiresome, but also limited the scope of the storytelling, making it feel repetitive and predictable. In The Curse of the Black Pearl, there was a captivating aura of mystery and opportunity that enveloped the expansive ocean setting. Initially, the vastness of the sea felt daunting and filled with endless possibilities. However, as the sequels unfolded, it became apparent that everyone in the Pirates of the Caribbean universe knew each other all too well. The sense of interconnectedness among characters made the ocean seem much smaller than it once appeared. In contrast to the first film's sense of intrigue and potential, the subsequent entries in the franchise made the world feel confined and less adventurous. A reboot of Pirates of the Caribbean holds the promise of expanding the franchise's scope once again. To recapture that sense of grandeur, it's crucial for Pirates of the Caribbean 6 to break away from the Jack Sparrow era and introduce fresh faces. Drawing inspiration from the first film's approach of bringing together characters who are strangers to each other, along with injecting a renewed sense of mystery, could reignite the series' epic scale. This approach has the potential to breathe new life into the Pirates of the Caribbean universe, reigniting audience interest and revitalizing the brand. Arguably, the diminishing scope observed in the first five Pirates of the Caribbean films was reflective of a broader trend in Hollywood during the 2010s. With the immense success of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, many studios jumped on the bandwagon, creating their own shared universes with characters from various films intersected. However, similar to the Pirates franchise, this approach often resulted in fictional worlds feeling more confined and less expansive. Disney appears to be taking a different route with Pirates of the Caribbean 6, wisely avoiding the pitfalls of an overcrowded shared universe. Instead, they're using this opportunity to chart a new course for the franchise, steering it in a fresh direction. By doing so, they can potentially restore the sense of grandeur and adventure that made the original film so captivating, without getting bogged down by interconnected storylines and characters from multiple films. Well, that's it for today. What aspect of the Pirates franchise are you most excited to see revitalized in the next installment? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on all your favorite franchises. Until next time, keep exploring the high seas of adventure. Thank you so much for watching our video today, and we will see you in our next video.